Hey everybody, it's the Doll Boy, and today I've got a very special video for you. That's because we're taking a look at the new limited edition Rapunzel doll that came out this month. As you might have already guessed, knowing me, I am gonna be taking her out of the box, undo her braid, and restyle her long hair. But first, let's take a look at this stunning doll inside of her box. The way Rapunzel is displayed, I really love her, and I can imagine she'll be a really nice addition for inbox collectors as well. From the front, you get a really good look at the doll. It shows the Tangles 10 year logo. And on the bottom, it says Rapunzel, limited edition, one of 5,500. On the top, it says Tangled. And if we look at the sides of the box, there are these really nice flower details on both the box and the plastic cover. On the back of the box, mine had some wrinkles in the cardboard, but personally, I don't mind about the box too much. The box gives you some information about Tangle's 10th anniversary, and it also mentions that there's a certificate of authenticity and a display stand included. It doesn't tell you the price on the box, but I got this doll from the American Disney Store website for $130. This was quite a controversy for a lot of doll collectors, because the first limited edition Rapunzel doll did have a more extravagant outfit, so some people felt like she wasn't worth the price point. But since this is my very first limited edition Rapunzel doll, I've been looking forward to this release all year long. And I really love the way she looks, with that beautiful face and stunning long hair. On the plastic cover, we can see those purple flower details better. And on the bottom, it says Rapunzel in purple letters too. The doll is displayed in our box so nicely, with that lantern background, holding the Pascal figurine in her hand. When you remove the back part of the box, you'll find the certificate of authenticity, revealing which specific doll you got. For me, it's Rapunzel number 2623 out of 5500. And what is pretty interesting to me is that on the certificate, it says this doll is released in 2021, but it's still December of 2020. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this beautiful doll, so we can take a closer look at her out of the box. For this, I remove all the tape from the back of the box, and undo the twists on the bottom as well, because her hair and doll stand are also secured to the bottom parts. You also have to carefully cut the tags from the dress and cape to fully free Rapunzel from the box. Then the dress and cape were still tied together with some tags that I choose to remove. Even though this doll has beautifully styled hair, I was very disappointed with the quality of the ends. For my doll, they were very frizzy and dry, where I was hoping for silky smooth hair straight out of the box. Especially because I mainly wanted this doll for her hair and face because those looked absolutely perfect. 
I do really like the dress as well, and I love how it's a different take on Rapunzel's dress, and it looks so good on her, but considering I don't have that first release Rapunzel doll, I would have really liked to have a version of her signature dress too. Starting at the top, her face is extremely pretty. I already love the new face mold on that 12 inch doll that came out this year, but seeing it in 17 inch scale really has something magical to it. Rapunzel's wearing some light purple eyeshadow, has really nicely rooted lashes, and some very pretty and subtle freckles. Her long blonde hair is styled in this braid. To keep the shape, her front part does have some gel in it, and the rest is styled in a simple three-strand braid with flowers in it. These flowers are sewn in with a thread that matches the color of the hair, so it's not gonna be easy to reuse them once you take them out. Then around her knees, the braid stops, and there's a twist that wraps around the hair for a bit, and then she has her ends all loose. As I showed you while unboxing, I am disappointed in those ends, because they do look like they could use a lot of love. But I'm definitely gonna be giving her that today. The dress Rapunzel comes with has this really pretty golden bodice, with lace details at the sides that I really love. And the back is also gold and has these cape pieces that are ombre from a lighter pink to a darker purple. And as you can see, the bodice and skirt velcro in the back and are two separate pieces, which I really like. Because if you love the top, but are not the biggest fan of the skirt, you could easily customize or swap the skirt without having to sacrifice the entire dress. What I was really curious about was that golden top, because I'm personally not loving the white piece at the top of the bodice. And the golden part does reach all the way up, but the way the white part is attached to the bodice, I don't think it'll be easy to remove that. Those lace details on the sides also have some ribbons draping down the skirt, and they're held in place with some tags to keep the shape. Then for the skirt, a lot of collectors were upset that there's no embroidery, like there is on the top. All of the details seem to be printed on, except for those nice rhinestones. For me, since I'm pretty new at limited edition dolls, only having Ariel and Moana, I'm not really used to any embroider details on my dolls. So for me, this really still looks like a very nicely made dress. One big thing I do wish was different is that the skirt is all one piece. And I would have really liked it if that darker underlayer was a full skirt as well. But the overall look is really nice in my opinion, and I do love the colors and details they gave the outfit. With those golden flower details and cascading effect to the skirt. For the doll stand, it's the one your dolls basically sit on. And then Rapunzel has her bare feet with pointed toes. Other than that, her articulation is very similar to regular dolls, with added movement in the waist and knees. After taking some pictures of this doll with her original braid, I did undo her braid because I really wanted to see how she looks with her hair down. I might bring back the braid later, so I'm not too worried about undoing it for now. For this step, I am taking my hairbrush and a spray bottle of water, because I really wanted to be careful with those ends. 
it was already really hard to even brush out that first section, which really worried me. But I did want to keep going and fully undo the braid. I do realize that doing this to my doll's hair is something many collectors do not like to do, but for me it's really part of the enjoyment of getting a doll like this. So please don't hate me for doing it. While undoing the braid, I also cut the thread, keeping those flowers in place, really taking my time to make sure I don't accidentally snip any of the hair. After that, I already really love the way she looked, but as you can see, the ends are really tangled. No pun intended, I promise. Honestly, looking back at this footage, it still upsets me, especially because this character is so based around her long, beautiful, soft hair, so I personally expected more from a limited edition doll. But let's not talk about that for too long and just get on to fixing her. As always, for this step, I dressed my doll in a dress I don't mind getting wet. And now I'm filling up my sink, starting with cold water to get all of the products and loose hair out. Because while running my hands through the hair, she already shed quite a lot. I started by really dipping that hair in the water and squeezing the excess water out. Then I take my brush again and start brushing all the hair out in sections, starting from the bottom and working my way up. For this step, I hold the hair in one hand and brush all the hair out with the other one. This really prevents from pulling out the hair from the doll's head. For this entire hair washing part, I did have a really hard time getting it all on camera because of how big the doll is and how long the hair is. To help me brush and smooth everything out, I did add conditioner to the hair as well, which made a huge difference. If you want to do this as well, prepare yourself, because you're gonna brush and brush and brush and brush her hair. After doing that for the entire head, we have this very nice and smooth hair. But the ends were still very frizzy. I did a test strand to see how I could fix this before committing to the whole head. So now I'm gonna split the hair in several sections once again and dip her hair in boiling water. And comb through the hair to really smooth it out. That step did make a bit of a difference, but the ends were still not as smooth as I wanted them to be. That's why I went in with my hair straightener, trying to perfect the hair. With this, you really want to be careful not to damage the hair or even melt it. That's why I like to work on wet hair and only use a straightener that doesn't get too hot. Once again, I work in small sections with this, making sure I comb it out really well, respraying it with water so everything is nice and wet, and then I really carefully straighten those ends. If I feel like it's not as smooth as I want yet, I re-wet those sections, comb it out again, and re-straighten the very ends. As you can see, this really made a big difference. I repeated these steps for all of the ends, brushing it out, wetting the ends, and straightening them until I was satisfied. After this step, I did go in and trim off the very ends of the hair, to get rid of the frizz I couldn't fix. Because I also wanted to give Rapunzel some wave in her hair, I took these big flexi rods and wrapped her hair around those, then simply letting that sit overnight 
for a temporary girl. This honestly took way better than I expected. And I absolutely love the outcome. I really hope you liked this limited edition Rapunzel restyle and the video showing you what I did. If you appreciate the several full evenings I spent on brushing and straightening and styling this doll's hair, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I'm also really curious to hear your opinions in the comments down below whether you prefer Rapunzel with her braids, her straight hair or with her curls. And if you want to see more of my doll pictures, follow me on Instagram as well, at the doll boy. See you next time!